What is up, Rosemary Josh? In today's video, we're diving into the space battle. So, if you guys haven't jumped in this or haven't checked out this mode, it's currently live since 7.3 and now live on all the servers. And what is it? It's World of Warships in Space, baby. What else can you ask for? In this little mode that's going to be alive is basically their April Fools. If you guys remember how they did the bathtub fight with all those tier ones, and and that was a lot of fun. This is their quote unquote their April Fools mode, which Warships always does a good job of doing, um, bringing something fun and unique to uh, the game and letting us play around for basically like a month. And this just started with the latest patch and goes all the way until uh, mid to late April. So one thing you can do while doing this is getting free stuff. So that's always awesome playing both of the space battles as well as random battles. You can get these free containers and get free stuff. You can get stuff like flags, camos. There's rumors that you can get the permanent camos. I don't know if that's ever been confirmed. I don't think it is. Um, they don't say anything about getting the permanent camos. But I have heard rumors that you have a chance. But I don't know if anybody getting them, so I doubt it. But just telling you guys what I've heard. You can also get some cool emblems and stuff like that. If you guys have been following the Twitter, there's been like two of the captains that have been fighting on the Twitter um, been kind of funny I guess uh, but anyways you can get some free stuff while you play but if we click over and we actually click to the uh, game itself we can go to port and I'll put a link down below for the uh, information there if you want I'll put a link down below we are in space it's actually pretty cool pretty uh, ominous I think they did a really good job graphically with this and um, this is one of the ships and I honestly if you want to get some cool you know some cool wallpapers or something like that it's pretty damn awesome uh, you know, all bunch of different planets all over the place. Um, and there's a UFO somewhere. Where is he? He's, he's hiding somewhere. There he is, right there. So you can actually get some cool photos if you want. And what it is, is its own separate mode. So if you're worried about your WTR, worried about your win rate, whatever, it won't affect anything because these are their own ships and their own nation. Each ship comes with a 19-point captain. Um, and all you need to do is to unlock that, and World of Warships didn't do a very good way of explaining how you can unlock this stuff. It says all you have to do is go do a mission, a small mission, and you can unlock the ships. Pretty much what it should have said is you need to you need to win a game in a tier six ship and you will unlock the ships for the space battles of that class. So if you go out and win a tier six uh, destroyer game, you will unlock the destroyers. If you go out and win a tier six cruiser game, you will unlock the cruisers for this battleships CVs. So um, if you unlock the destroyers, you're not going to get all of them. You need to go out and win one in each class. So go out there, have some fun, win some normal games, and then maybe bounce over to the actual... Uh, um, the space battles with those unlock ships but you have to win in randoms with a tier six or higher first and then you unlock the ships of that class now what there basically is is there's the flyer fire the blue aster aster um the norma which is the minotaur the galaxy the zaya the aurora the paris the all destroyer and the hell carrier which is all pretty fun basically what all these are is gearing z52 minotaur uh des moines zao uh, Moskva, uh, the Republic, the GK, and the uh, Hecuru. So, games that are, all these things are already in the game. So these are ships you get to play, especially if you haven't tried them out yourself. You can go on there and have a lot of fun playing them. And these are actually camels that are available for the ship. So if we actually get away from the space battle, go back to randoms really quick. You can actually go in to one of the tier tens. We switched over to tier tens really fast. And you can actually go and buy one of these ships if you want to purchase them. So let's just go to the mosque really fast. You can actually go there, go to exterior, and you can purchase what already had the original uh, permanent camel, but now they have the space one. So all the camels you see in the space battles, you can go in and actually purchase them yourself. They are pretty pricey at 8,000 doubloons, but they do look super, super cool. Um, I think some of the best looking ones are the Zhao. Um, the gearing as well as the Republic. I just don't have the Republic yet, but where's the Zhao? There you are. It's hiding from me. Um, I think the Zhao looks absolutely awesome. I might pick this up myself. That is a badass looking camo. Um, and same if we go back to Space Battles really fast. Um, hold, hold, hold. Where are they? I, th I think the Paris, aka the Republic, has the best looking camo out of all of them. I like the clean, the click, the the slick lines. As I, f I figure out the right word, and um, I think overall it just looks really, really nice, um, and it looks pretty damn cool. Now the Halloween ones, if you guys had saw seen those, they had their permanent camos. I think those get a little old looking. The skeletons and those are all kind of cool. I think these look badass. I've seen them in games. A few people have them. I think these are way easier on the eyes than the old Halloween ones. I think some of the Halloween ones were cool, like the Nikolai ones, pretty cool. The 
um, one for the uh, Shokaku is pretty cool. Um, but these are just so kind of futuristic and really cool looking, and I think they did a really good job with these, although these are pretty expensive. One thing you can do on these, uh, with these ships is they're considered tier 7s, so you can actually go out and make some decent experience, or decent credits while you're going through this, as well as you can, um, the only things you can really do with, with modules is you can't buff up these, you can switch between hydroacoustic and radar, or hydroacoustic and AA, um, you know, radar and AA plane, but you can only pop on one module. I just realized I played this without a module on, oh well, we still did amazing that game. Um, but it's basically all specced out, and you can spec out your, your captain however you want. One thing you can also do with all these captains is they're all 19 points. You have to spend captain the points however you want. You can switch them between ship and ship, which is pretty cool. Um, and you can put all the extra flags on that you want and actually earn a decent amount of cash. These are considered tier 7 premiums, so you will make a decent amount of money. I think I, in my best game, I think I made like 400,000 credits or something like that, 500,000 credits. And that was with, a, like, I think, like almost a 200,000 damage game. So if you're going out there, you don't really have your own premium, go in there and have some fun and, and unlock some crates and get your clan some oil and uh, just go in there and have some fun in, in the actual mode itself. Now, there have been a lot of people that have kind of said this is a missed opportunity, and I don't know if I really agree. I think I've actually really liked this mode. It's been fun. Uh, you know, I think World of Warships and Wargaming has done a pretty good job. First of all, it looks awesome. Um, if you can get over the fact that this is just hotspot domination, <laughs> if, you can, if you can get over that fact and kind of big, you play the same map over and over and over, that's okay because I'm sure this took a massive amount of time to code and do all that kind of stuff. I'm sure you could, uh, you know, it, it's hotspot. You're playing hotspot, you're playing three cap domination, um, and just go in there and have fun. And you actually kind of forget that it's hotspot, but if you look at the mini map and realize where the islands are, it's hotspot. Um, but still, you play it completely different. It's, it's a much, it's just really easy going. You can go in there and have a lot of fun. So basically what there is, is I think it's like 8v8, um, I think it's 8v8, and uh, a lot of a lot of cruisers, a lot of, and a lot of the kind of values are, are weird because the camos don't give the uh, detection uh, decrease, so it took a little while for me to get used to the destroyers. Um, but you can see all the way through the bottom of the map, which is weird, so it's going to take you a little while to get used to. All your points or references and muscle memory that you have in this game is going to be completely off because you can actually see what's normally under the water, and you don't have to mess with that. So um, trust me, you're going to be shooting a ton of shells into uh, the water until you get kind of used to it. After that, you just get kind of, you can see the line on some of those ships. Um, but yeah, they're all tier 10 ships. So if you haven't played them, you can kind of maybe test drive them if you want and have fun doing it. Um, it's very, it's very chill. Everyone's kind of having fun. It's, I would say, I don't think there's, from what I've seen, there isn't too much salt in space. So if you haven't really enjoyed like random battles, I know there's a big co-op, uh, population world of warships you can go out there and have a lot of fun um but again i think a lot of people have said like this has been a missed opportunity i wish there was something else i think this is pretty fun for i played it for two days pretty solidly on the stream and played with people we had fun went out and tried everything i think some of the best carry ships are probably like the destroyers um they're pretty good but there's lots of radar so be careful for that and the minotaur the norma the norm i thought was so much fun to play and um you we were really able to stack up some awesome we got, we stacked up some awesome games a double strike comeback which was actually pretty cool uh, i think i died like double torps on something like that we had a clutch victory at the end one thing though is the only module you can put on your ships is a 70 percent detonation module and when you're in this mode you can't get any of the rewards so if you get a crack and if you get confederate dev strikes stuff like that you those that don't actually pop up just like in clan battles um those don't pop up so you don't get rewards so you I, this happened, I detonated, and I was super pissed because they give you a detonation of 70%, a detonation module. It's the only module you can put on, but you can still detonate, and I did, which really sucked because I, I'd never had that happen before with the module. Um, so just beware. I wouldn't run debt flags on these anyways. Um, it's, it's a very low chance, but just a heads up that you can detonate. They should have just taken detonate out of this mode or just change it to hundred percent and you're in space. Who cares? Um, but really I think it's a cool mode. I enjoyed it a lot. I know a lot of people have been enjoying it regardless. It's a day or two of just to go in there and mess around with friends. It's very chill. Um, there's some awesome stuff. So basically what it is, is I think it, two teams going against each other. You're basically playing normal ships. 
and they've added in some new kind of weather stuff and there's new storms and so what you can do is if you go into these storms um, they usually start from either the left or right side and they'll just move across what that does is it lowers your detection as well as um, you can't heal while inside it so that's kind of the trade-off but lowers your detection and you can see out but people can't see in so it's kind of cool you can actually kind of use it use and abuse it if you will and um, really kind of have some fun with that. There's also a meteor shower that goes around, which is pretty cool. And it's actually kind of, it's, I'm hoping Wargaming is kind of using this to kind of maybe, I don't know, maybe test some things before they go live. Because unlike like Cyclones that are in normal games that just block it at eight kilometers, this was actually pretty cool because it's constantly moving. They've done it in operation now. Um, the latest operation where there was a moving storm basically and it lowered detection. Um, this one had a meteor shower as well, and if you flew planes through the meteor shower as a CV or other stuff, you actually lost one plane per squad every 15 seconds. So stuff like that is really, really cool. Um, I don't know what Wargame is doing. Maybe they're kind of testing out some stuff, and, um, you know, there's some potential for them to kind of turn this into some in-game mechanics and maybe getting rid of Cyclone. I don't know. Uh, I know Cyclone for me aren't very popular. I don't like Cyclones. I know some people do, but it's a way we're seeing it more. We saw it in operation. We saw it in this, you know, um, April Fool's kind of game mode. So maybe we'll see it in, in game soon. I, I, I don't know. There's also some Easter eggs too. one of the islands over by sea camp has a rover, which is kind of funny. And um, you can actually see the, uh, the ships that sink under the, the water space line, whatever you want to call it. Um, and you can actually kind of see stuff. So it, it, it is pretty cool. I think it looks really good. I love the sounds. I love um, the animations. Again, I think some of the camos look super badass. And um, we're actually going to give away, I think, two of them um, on stream. Well, today, today, tonight. So if you're seeing this video, stop in the stream tonight. We're giving away two of these camos, um, the premium ones that are 8,000 doubloons. So if you're seeing the video tonight, uh, definitely come check out the stream. We'll put a link down below to my stream schedule. As always, come in, try to win yourself one of these permanent camos. But anyways, guys, the space battles are live. Go in there and check them out. Again, all you have to do to get into these battles is win a game in your tier six ship. You will unlock the ships of that class of ships for the event. So go win a, a destroyer game, cruiser, battleship, CV of tier six and higher. You can unlock everything and just go in there and have some fun, derp around in space, and not worry about getting taken away by aliens or whatever just go in there have some fun enjoy it guys enjoy this mode i think it's a blast again it looks beautiful and i think wargaming made a fun little whatever this is anyways guys that's it for me hope you guys enjoy this video get out there in space bros and i'll see you guys next time